th this introduces a whole new paradigm for what to even look for when we go to these distant worlds. That's a the other thing with Europa, right? Models predict that serpentinization is actually more probable than, let's say, deep sea vents which on Europa, sense. which right. makes sense. Right. And now we've got Europa Clipper going there. It's going to do a bunch of things. If we're going to send, you know, if we get our funding back and JPL gets its funding back. We need our funding back. Yeah. But if we do, then we're going to send, you know, m let's say something that drills into the Europa yep. ocean and then tries to look for it. Well, those things should probably have a mass sp spectrometer, mm -hmm. right? Because the mass spectrometer is what was used to actually characterize these lipids yes. and these lipid biomarkers. What we're saying is, historically, maybe we'd always be looking for DNA as the sign of life. Uh, looking for lipids, the presence of lipids, is another signature yes. that is equally relevant and viable in yeah. that search and might be more fruitful because even on Earth, we can see in regions that we previously believed to be uninhabitable, life is there, but the way we found it was not through the DNA, it was through the discovery of the lipid presence. Huge implications, not only for, again, expanding our idea of what does life mean just here on earth but then informing how we ask questions about the universe around us yeah so yes. maybe let's not look for dna right. maybe let's look for lipids that, right 